Okay, so once the Apple Classroom app is loaded on your iPad, you can open it and you should see create new class. Name your class. We're just going to call this test classroom and you can give it a different color if you'd like. Click done. So now I'm going to open up test classroom and there's no students in this yet so we want to click add students right there in the middle and notice the code at the bottom says 0934 your your screen's going to say a different number this is when you're going to go to the student ipads and open those up okay so now we're looking at the uh, student ipad i'm going to open up settings okay so when you open up settings you're going to wait a second here You should see on your screen, all of a sudden it says classroom. Now, if you don't see this classroom icon, the uh, teacher iPad and student iPad may not be on the same Wi-Fi. Check that. The other thing you may want to check is to ensure that Bluetooth is turned on. So right now I can see Wi-Fi is connected to SEIC Mobile. That's good. Bluetooth is on. That's good. I'm going to click classroom now. And right there the first thing i see is new class invitation add test classroom that was the name of the classroom that i set up on my ipad so i'm going to go ahead and click add test classroom on your student ipads it may ask you to name the ipads for now we can just we just recommend calling them student one stu through however many ipads you have student two student three so it says enter the code i'm going to click right there and I'm gonna enter in my code, zero, nine, three, four, add. So you'll see now it says waiting for teacher. All right, so we are back now to my teacher iPad. I can see that the first student has been added. What I would do is make sure I go through and, and add all of the students. Just open up the iPads on a, on a table and go through and add the code to each one of them and say add, 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 add. And now so I'm, I'm going to just say that I have all my students added and click the add button here. Once you see all of these iPads on your screen, there's uh, a couple things you want to do. Uh, the first would be to click screen. Now on the student iPad, it will ask you, do you want to allow this once or always allow? Definitely click always allow on that student iPad. The other thing you want to test out is a lock. So I'm going to go ahead and click lock now. So this is asking if you want to lock that iPad. Once again, the first time you do this onto your student iPads, it will ask you, do you want to allow once or always allow? And, and if you do always allow, you'll be always able to lock somebody's screen or view their screen and it won't ask the students because if it asks the students then they're going to be able to decline and say no I don't want you to look at my screen or no I don't want you to lock it so be sure to do all of this process first one time with all of your iPads and then you won't have to do this again pretty much completes how to set up the Apple Classroom